I did the tutorial a few like a week or two ago just to make sure the game would run and the tutorial is, the tutorial is pretty basic so it's pretty easy peasy I've heard people say that the matchmaking in this game does take a while on every single platform that it's on because you can get this on switch you can get this on I think PlayStation and Xbox and all the jazz and of course on Windows but I've heard that, yeah, it's very slow, unfortunately. That's it. That's exactly it. That's exactly it, Jubbles. Players found. All right, so I don't have the fancy dudes. I do have this fancy dude, Vic Viper. That's a NES game, right? I think what I'll probably do is just stick with the basic types. As I understand it, some characters have basic... Oh, I guess I have to select something. Yeah, I'll just stick with the basic dude. I'll do my best. Yeah, no special abilities, but he has the capability to grow the most. So he has, he has like, uh, the ability to get max firepower, max bombs, max speed. Whereas certain characters start with more firepower or more bombs or more speed, but they're capped. Their, their cap is lower, so they can't get as high-powered. Or they might have special powers, but yeah, but, but but certain abilities are limited. Or they can't use certain abilities, like they might not be able to use Bomb Kick or Bomb Punch. Or they might not be able to get faster with speed power-ups. Or they might be limited to only one bomb, so... There is a trade-off. I understand that some of them are kind of overpowered, though, like some of the special characters. There's me! So these are the people in the game immediately with us. But then there's... 60 other players across multiple other boards. You can see on the left and right hand margins. There's a bunch um, But there's like a bunch of other people scattered across multiple boards So it's kind of a battle royale, but it doesn't look like one right now I, I mean, I guess you could you could say that barman was the original battle royale All right, So I've got the glove which means I can do that now just neat Gave me lots of bombs. Let's not blow myself up, please, if I can help it. The bomb kick, which is always useful. Plus me to not get myself screwed over if I can help it. Okay, so I clearly don't have a lot of firepower. I, mean, I, got, I almost got bodied just there. Somebody has really good firepower. I think pink has like really big, really, really big explodies. Alright, so it's gonna count down. When it timer reaches zero, then we can't place bombs anymore. We can f go to a different board if we want to. Okay, not that one, because that one's going to die. So I can stay here. There's going to be blocks that rain down from the sky. I want to stay here. I guess I'll stay here. Actually, this, this place is pretty hopping. I'll go over here. Oh, but I'm here with green. All right, green. You're trapped in here with me. Or you're, you're or I'm trapped here in here with you or something. Well, someone just got exploded. Someone had a cool... Um, Oh, 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 C. No, Z. Oh, shit. I don't know what it is. So I already... Yeah, I, I had the the ability to punch, but I forgot what the button is. Oh, maybe I don't have the ability to punch. Oh, no. I'm dead again. Yeah, so I, so I, don't, I can't punch after all. So, yeah, you're allowed two hits, and then you die. So, and because I picked up a heart, I was good for a little bit there, but then I very quickly died. There's a heart. Someone just picked it up. Yeah. So now, because I'm glowing red, that means I have one hit left, and then I'm dead. And when you're dead, that means you're no longer alive. Welcome back, Tristar. Bomber, yeah, I wish. I wish it was all the way up to 99. That guy's got cool, like, rose hearts. It's fancy. So he's like a special character. And he's taunting. Alright, so I got my butt slightly kicked here. Oh god, this place is real busy. I think everyone's having the same idea I am. It's like, let's go to this place. This place is nice and quiet. Whoops. Place nice and quiet. That one had a star, and I wonder if that's fancy at all. Whoops. Someone got exploded. Oh, no, I want that heart. No, oh, that heart got, ex got killed. Heart is kill. Oh, he, he went invisible. I think that's solid snake. Yeah, yeah, it's snake. He goes invisible. Okay, he has a cloaking device. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, can't punch. Yeah, I never saw a single punch. So I couldn't, I could, that's the only way, if you get trapped by bombs, you can punch them away, but you need the punch power up, and I never got one. 
This is a pyramid head guy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what his special power is, but I know he has a special power. I think there's Alucard who can, like, go through bombs temporarily or, like, can go through bricks. Um, there's a chainsaw guy that, like, stuns characters for, like, a few seconds. Oh, you have Alucard? Yeah, apparently he's pretty good. I've heard, I've heard a lot of people like playing as him a lot. Um, I will say quit battle and I will restart a new one. Introducing premium, the premium pack. All very, or to use various characters with special abilities. Um, no thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. People die when they're, yeah, yeah, peep, yeah, when you're, when you die, that means you're no longer alive. I do have kick, but if you're like, if it's up against a wall, you can't kick it over a, over a, over an obstacle. Kick will have the bomb like roll on the floor. And if it hits an object, like another bomb or a wall or a brick, like a, like a breakable brick, it'll just stop. You can stop it short with the Z button, I think. But yeah, the only, if you're stuck up against something, your only option is to punch. And some characters actually start with punch. Maybe I should actually look into that. That way you can like usually last a little bit longer. In your face purchase ads. I mean, I don't mind it too much. I can just quickly, you know, press the space bar. But that's the joy of these kinds of freemium games. Is um is like, you know, I, I don't have to pay anything, but I, I pay in like the time it takes to read in-game ads or stuff like that. So it's like you're paying through other means. You start with Alucard. He's locked for me at least. So Alucard is... Where is he? Simon, Raiden. Here he is. Yeah, so he's, he's locked for me. I do get this guy though. Vic Viper. What's his special power? Um. Oh, speed up. Okay. Move straight forward at high speed. Okay. So you can see there's certain things he doesn't get. We'll just stick with white again, but... But yeah, but, but some characters start with certain abilities, or they start with certain power-ups, but they have other things capping them. Yeah, maybe everybody starts with one random, like, premium character or something. And in my case, Vic Viper was the one I rolled. Yeah, I think Vic Viper is like a, the name of a video game, I think. Like an NES game or something. You lose if you run out of hearts. Yeah, if you if you run out of health, then your character's dead. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah, there's 64 other... Well, there's 64 total players. Oh, really? So, it's, it's you said that... Oh, I was going to say, it's like it said that matchmaking was done. Then it's like, oh, we got to get other players. This guy's got like little cake outfits. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of game where I can tell I don't think I would like this enough to want to spend money on it. Um, this is the kind of thing I think I would only play every so often. As much as a perceived Bomberman super nerd as I am, the only real Bomberman games that I really love are the adventure style games from the from the 90s that I that I that I played as as a kid. Um, whoops, I didn't have to go up too many far. Oh, there's the there's the boxing glove. Um, the adventure style games that were that were considered non-standard like those games were considered weird because they deviated from the the barman formula for games like this this is more of a classic experience um, oh, like I was trying to pull the old razzle dazzle on me oh yeah I'm dead yep yeah. it didn't take long yeah that person that person is very good at the game that person knows what he or she is doing very very well so I died pretty quick I guess pulling some fancy maneuvers, he, he, this person, and they got like the fancy bombs, like the fancy outfits, so it's like that person knows the shit very well. Oh, Sally, there is no jump button in this game. That's that's exactly it. Like, I love Bomberman Hero because you could jump, and I love Bomberman 64 because there were like platforming sections, whereas like old school Bomberman had none of that. Old school Bomberman really was just the grid, and that was it. You would get like the SNES games, which did have story modes, but... I wouldn't say they were afterthoughts necessarily, but they were not the main draw for a lot of people. The multiplayer was the main draw, and the multiplayer is fun. But yeah, I, I grew up, and my heart lies with the non-standard 
games that like are considered you know not real Bomberman games so so I'm like a fake Bomberman fan that like I, I like the stuff I like everything except for the old school stuff like even the the attempts to relaunch the brand with like Bomberman Act Zero visually and aesthetically the game is very different because it's all edgy and grim dark and and you know brutal but the gameplay is still classic Bomberman it's still the grid style it's still like the same thing despite the the visuals being like super super different and like the story being well I guess the story arguably is similar to the original because I think in the original original Bomberman story Bomberman is a robot and he needs to like you know beat the game so he can be turned into a human or something and I think that's the approach Act Zero took yeah yeah exactly the fact that they try to go like mega edgelord with Act Zero was was kind of silly so you can see here so pink she has good stats and she keeps good stats but she cannot punch and she cannot throw so if she gets stuck then she is pretty much screwed um, I think green over here starts with punch and kick, but can't do jack shit otherwise. Let's try green for a bit. Yeah, he can't. He starts with punch, throw, and kick, but he is very slow, and he doesn't get fa he doesn't get better uh, fire or bomb powers. So he's limited to minimal firepower, minimal bomb usage, but presumably can survive pretty long. So that one's like good for defensive players and less good for offensive players. Oh yeah, and Louie is in this game. For people who played the original games, or if you're like me and you played Bomberman Hero, Louie the little rabbit dude, rabbit kangaroo lad, is in this game. I've never, uh, I've, I've, obviously I haven't seen him, but I've seen other people use him when I've watched other people stream this game. Got the cool outfits. I like the little, little, um, uh, like the backpack outfit that guy's got. The top left. He's using yellow bomber. I wonder what yellow's power is. Yes, for my guy, it's almost not even worth picking up power-ups because it gets us nothing. Although, I guess what it does is that it prevents the other bad guys from getting anything. It's like, by many me by many measures, I guess this is kind of a boring character to use. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Oh, I thought I would have thought quicker. Did that take both of us out? Yes, it did. You've doomed us both, Pink. Yeah, so I've got, I've got, yeah, so C is the punch. Like, I killed both of us. Okay, well, mutually assured destruction. Yeah, so I was able to kill her, but I couldn't get past that brick, so I, I was stuck regardless. We at least took them out, too. Took them with us. It'd be nice if there was immediately, like, new match versus having to go back to the main menu and then having to restart. What's Bomberman Revenge? I don't think I've heard of that one. This is the only ones I've played. I've played all three of the original... Oh, not the original. i played all the, three of the N64 ones. I played a little bit of Atomic Bomberman on PC way back in the day. What's Yellow? Yellow had something cool. He doesn't get spiky ones. Um, I don't think I like the, the bouncy bombs a whole lot. He doesn't get punch. Not getting punch is a deal breaker for me because then you then you're like you're screwed. Uh, he can't he can't throw, but he gets like pretty good stats. Yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with this guy for now. The basic. I'm a basic dude. Just making shit up, yeah. Oh, dude, go Goblin, don't tease me. If only if only Konami or I guess Hudson at the time would have done something like that for Bomberman, uh, that would have made my soul happy. Now, so I played the the N64 games. I played a little bit of Atomic Bomberman. I played Bomberman Tournament on the Game Boy Color? Game Boy? No, Game Boy Advance. And I played. There was Bomberman Max and Bomberman something else on the Game Boy Color. I think I played Bomberman Max. I don't think I ever beat it though. And I did play Bomberman Generations, but I never did play Jetters. And I think there was even one more after that. So that line of games I only dabbled with slightly. Sega's so Bomber, was that like a similar kind of deal? The yellow over here, he has like a little, he has like a little painting. Oh, it's a moon. It's like a crescent moon on his little head. Adorable. I see Black Bomber up top has like a Naruto run. That's, that's delightful actually. I'm blowing up all these bricks and I'm getting nothing. 
Oh, they got a little heart on theirs. You get like little custom decals for your bombs and for your, and you can make your explosions look fancy. Boom, bomb just ex or black bomb just exploded himself, him or herself. Get the glove. No glove, no love. It's was, it was really just the same game. I want it. Ah, uh, we all thought the same thing. Yeah. Well, so far my best games have been with with white bombers, so maybe I should just stick with old faithful. Oh, I'm so slow. I can't pick up anything, man. So I've I, I've gotten a few, a little bit more firepower and one additional bomb. There's a Vic Viper over there, I think. There's a few of Vic Vipers. There's this this lad down the, in the middle left here. Oh, it came out way early. Oh, wow. Earlier than... Wait, it came out a decade before original Bomberman? Are we talking, like, earlier than NES Bomberman? Because that was, like, super old school. Because if you're saying that predated... Ah, uh, shucks. If that predated the original, then, I, then I'm really impressed. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. God damn it, I just exploded myself. Like I wanna I wanna keep up with chat, but then I keep exploding my face. My own face. 1977? Whoa, damn. What uh what was that on? Was it like an arcade game? Like what I guess like game consoles didn't exist in 77, did they? Cause yeah, if it was like literally the same game, I'm I'm really surprised. It sounds like they were the the torch bearers. Torch bearers, not the torch bears. Can you imagine a like bears charging in, throwing torches at people? It's a fun men mental image. Can I look at characters while we're in this mode? I or in this screen, I guess we I guess we can't. I guess I have to let her do its thing. So I'm almost, so you can see in the right hand margin there, so I'm getting semi-close to level 2. Arcade game, yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know that arcades were around in the late 70s, so I, that's really impressive. They were way ahead of the game. I'm tempted to try Black Bomber out, but I'm sad about the not having a lot of bombs. But Vic? We could try Vic Viper. He, he seems fun. He's got like pretty good stats and that special move is like, I think I see what button is for the special move. I guess I'll have to experiment and find out. But something that allows him to like shoot ahead. It was on the Genesis. Yeah, it was it probably yeah, later got ported to the Genesis. 2600s late 70s. Really? No, I, I thought that was the I didn't think that I didn't think any of those happened until the 80s. So yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised that late 70s they were that early. So I'm just, I'm way behind. Way behind in the times. Early 70s. Really? Damn. Yeah, I had no idea. I thought, I thought it all happened like really close together in like the early, like early 80s. But yeah. Because I figured that's when arcades were really big. And that like, and that the home market like took hold afterwards. But yeah, so yeah, I clearly have my, have my timeline all mixed up. All right, so it's so X is the is the shoot ahead move. I like his little rocket head. I wonder why it's Vic Viper if he's he's there's no I see no Vipers. I just see Rocket Face. I guess Vic Rocket Face doesn't sound as cool. Victor Rocket Face. I'm so fast. Look how fast I am. I feel like like a nimble footed lad. What's up, Puzzle? Well, good to see you, friend. What character would I put in? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I would be a nerd. I would be a real, real heckin' Bomberman nerd from, you know, the games that I played back back in the day. I would get, like, either Altar or, like, Sirius or Regulus or one, one of those, one of the villains from the original Bomberman 64 game. Or maybe, um, looks like we got that guy. Or maybe, uh, Nitro from Bomberman Hero. Or Bagular from... He was in Bomberman Hero, but he was more known for being in Bomberman 96, I want to say, on the SNES. Oh god, there's a lot of people here. I'm going to go into the south one. south one is slightly less busy. I'll be up here. I'll be up here. Try not to die. 
And I do have punch. I need to remember, I do have punch, so I can do shit like that. Oh. Alright, so if a bomb lands on top, it'll only... It won't go much further. I need to be keeping a close eye on the competition out here, because that's... Their movements will inform a lot of my decisions. Or should try to inform a lot of my decisions. Oh, I've walked into the bombs. I got one more one more heart. There it is. Oh, I'm gonna get out of that because that'll explode my own my own face. I wonder like when that boost will come in handy. This is a game where like snap decisions. Like, you know, you take what the one wrong step or you don't notice the one bomb in the in the one location that oh and then shit like that happens. Not dead yet, though, because I picked up a heart previously. Oh, okay, so I survived long enough for that, at least. I could stay in this area, or I could rotate to another spot. What's up, Whale? Beautiful Joe, that'd be cool. Yeah, get some Beautiful Joe action, I'd be down. Oh, really, Blue? Come on, dude, we could have been bros. We could have been, like, you know distant from each other, and now we're having to try to kill each other, man. Because so I could have kicked that, I think. Now, why'd she just walk into that? And what? They both just let themselves die, dude. What the hell? I guess self-preservation is not a huge thing right now with these with these players. They just, like... I mean, not like I'm one to talk. I've exploded my own face multiple times now, but... Like, they could have just... They could have just chilled. And instead, they... They were killed. Oh, I could have I could have got his ass, but I I kicked by accident Excuse me and the spiky ones can penetrate destructible walls. They can't penetrate the blocks like we see here Now he, we're probably not gonna kill each other because whenever there's like no other obstacles It's kind of hard to keep it going. So do I want to stay here. I guess I might as well we got new people flowing in yeah, Beautiful Joe would be awesome for Smash. That'd be really cool. Oh, we got- Oh, Jesus, they're piling in. This place is popping off. Yeah, I, there were a lot of opportunities where I could have gotten that guy, and I squandered the opportunities. Like a goob. Like a big old goober. Best 16! This is my best run yet, literally. Maybe Vic Viper should be my main. Victor Viper, at your service. It's hard to like keep track of everything because already all the bombs have been played, all the bricks have been destroyed. So now it's a matter of just trying to stay alive. And it's so easy to like not notice the one bomb way out there, or you just misjudge it and you think, oh, surely that's not enough firepower to reach me, and it does. Then you get your butthole murdered. Butthole murder is something I try to avoid whenever I can help it. Like you can pull the old switcheroos, like in cases like that, try to try to hit him with the switch ups from from far away. That's still nothing, yeah. So we're at 11 out of 64. Vic Vinegar, there you go. Onto other screens, yeah. Oh, you're saying onto like the neighboring screens? I didn't think that was an option. You can definitely have it rotate around. So if I were to like, I'm not gonna do that now, obviously. So, like, that'll land at the bottom of the screen because it rolled over, but I didn't think it would go uh, to, like, a, a neighboring zone. So, this number of people are at one health, and all, the blocks are all dead. That's going to kill someone. It didn't. Oh, there it goes. Top six. Oh, that one got, got murdered. Oh, no, let's not explode my own face if I can help it. Literally the best I've ever done in this game in my entire Bomberman career. You get a point bonus if you are the last of your board, but there's at least a few other characters on at least one other board. I guess it says in the overlay. Oh, oh I got I got sniped. I'm still alive, but I did lose a life there, so, I, so I'm in the danger zone. Whoop. Okay. Oh, really? What luck! It gave me the extra life I needed. Alright, so it's just us three. This is all for the marbles. For all of the marbles, even. I've just kind of, like, lucked my- oh, well, I'm dead already. Oh, maybe not. 
Oh, I punched it away in time, but... Alright, so I've got one life left. Oh, it bounced? Oh, right. That's what the bouncy boys do. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Like, these people know what they're doing, and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, speak of the devil. Best four. Wait, best four. I was top three, wasn't I? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's what they mean. They mean, like, you were in, you were in the top four, so you get a special rating for it. Yeah, those, those dudes knew their shit. Playing against people who know their, like, really know their shit, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get outclassed easily. We, did we not level up? Oh, yeah, it's getting our experience now. It was a good run. It was a good run. Yeah, our best one yet. That was more than enough to pop us to level two. I wonder what cool, what cool guy shit I get for being a level two man. I get little stars. Oh, our reward was getting the stars for rank two. So I guess those would give us new rewards. Win a game while riding Louie. I think the game already won, didn't it? If I say watch, yeah. Yeah, so Buck we got it. Good job. Good job, Buck. Buckley. So what do I get? Did I unlock any cool guy things? So yeah, so with old old Victor here. Do I have any cool things? We already I think we already have this because it's like a celebratory thing that went to everybody. You can eventually get yeah, like camo suits. You could make a Vic Viper solid snake combination lad. You can get some pretty cool outfits. Um, don't have anything there. So, so I could give myself... Oh, these are like just basic colors. Okay. And you can eventually unlock really fancy bombs. It's called astro... Wouldn't it be astronomy? Not astrology? Yeah, whatever. Okay, we saw somebody had like the fancy rose ones. Yeah. The, oh, this is, I like the tomato one. That's cool. So you can eventually get a bunch of fancy ones. Fancy entry poses. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to mess with that right now. Alright, so we didn't appear to unlock anything new, necessarily. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can eventually grab, though. Just neat. I, yeah, I wonder if I should stick with Vic Viper. It seems like he's my best one so far. There's one thing he can't get. I think it's the spiky bombs, but that's... Something that I... I find that if... In previous games, at least, I'm more likely to be undone by my own explosions with those. Like, I'm less likely to successfully weaponize them, and I'm more likely to just off myself with them by accident. <laughs> so at rank... You can see the top right. I think at rank 2, you get some new stuff. I think rank 1 was, like, basic level stuff. And then if we had the battle pass, you would definitely get some fancy stuff. Yeah, you can... Oh, sorry. Hit the microphone. You can see in the top right that, um, yeah, the battle pass kind of has its own little section. Yeah, we have this... Yeah, we have the start pass. There we go. Yeah, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a, I'm a freeloading... Cheapo start player. I'm not one of those cool battle players. A barman onesie? You mean like an IRL barman onesie? Because you know, Goblin, if I were to see such a thing, I would be hardcore tempted. I'd be very, very tempted. Hey, welcome back, Issa. Oh, really? I, I'll be I'll be very curious to see it, Issa. If, if you're comfortable sharing, I'd be very happy to see. Do I want to play as this person, Niami? I don't know what game they're from. They Oh, they can't get punchies. Yeah, no punchies for me. Yeah, this one's pretty good. This one has very little downside that I can see, really. Very rarely will I ever last long enough to get max bombs or max firepower anyway, so I'm sad. Up. I'm not sad about that, honestly. Discord's being weird. Oh, okay, I got you, Issa. Yeah, when, whenever whenever it can be posted, I'll be really curious to see it. No rush, though, obviously. I'm, I'm not one to rush perfection when it comes to good art. Yeah, when it's just waiting for other players, I'm guessing it's like... Like, it's already done the matchmaking, so yeah, maybe it's just loading people into the game. But I know that one... One criticism I've seen with this game, sometimes at least, is the, yeah, the matchmaking... It just takes a while for the match for the matches to load proper. Um, which is a bummer, because I think there's a decent amount of people playing this game. Although the audience will absolutely shrink 
as time goes on because this Bomberman isn't like a huge name recognition thing. Like, I, I can't really see this lasting super, super long, unfortunately. So let's see. You want to strike while the iron is hot. What could I be doing now? I could be playing with WASD, but playing with WASD and then having like Z, X, and C being the action buttons is a little bit awkward, so. Because then, then your hand is kind of scrunched up in one little corner of the keyboard. That guy's got like cool blue flames. I'm jelly. Jelly was cool blue. His cool guy blue flames. Did that guy just trap himself? He absolutely did. Well, again, far be it for me to make, make fun of that because Lord knows I've been undone by my own bullshit more times than I want to admit. It seems like you get more power ups in the early game. It seems like with each subsequent round, there's fewer power ups going around. By drops, at least, you get more power ups from. Oops. Uh oh. Uh, from kills. And less so from spills. Hehe. <laughs> Uh, do I want to relocate? There's a lot of people here. We can't go left because that round's about to die. There's quite a few people here. I think I'm going to booty on over here. I wonder, if any, I wonder how frequently people die from the rocks falling down. The star arena's... I, I'm not actually sure. Maybe, like, that means there's more people there. Maybe they're like, there's some incentive. Or maybe there's fewer people. Meaning, like, ooh, yeah, you, you would have it all to yourself. I know you get like a huge point bonus for being the champion of a specific arena, you know, temporarily, obviously, because, um, there we go. Oh, he timed that super well. I was gonna, I was just gonna punch it away. Shit, why'd I do that? That's fine. Now we're not done yet because we need a heart. We can get a heart, rather. That was almost really good timing on his part. Ooh, red got off to very, very shockingly. Um, do I want to stay here? These, these people know what they're doing. Let's see if red's going to get up in my grill, up in my territory. Looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. Eh, maybe not, maybe not. Mr. Right in the middle. A bold choice. Oh, almost got red. Almost got, just got themselves. Oop, almost, almost. Yeah, they, they saw what I was going for. They saw through my clever disguise. They're not really clever disguise, my clever plot. I, I thought it was clever. Yeah, see, now, like, nothing is dropping from the blocks, because now we're a couple rounds in, so it's being much less generous, it seems. Bonk. Oh, I want to steal his block. His bomb, rather. I want to be a big old meanie. All right, so this round's gonna, this, this arena's gonna die. Excuse me, gonna die, so we gotta relocate. And everybody's out here. And apparently, there was a death that happened. Yeah, this is a star arena, so it's, like, a fancy... Oh, wait, no, that one's a star arena. Maybe that means there's a lot of people, or there's, like, there's a lot of people that are doing really well score-wise. Oh, that guy just teabagged my ass. Yeah, I bet if you have... Let's, let's see, I'm trying to think what that would be based on, because he, he had a really quick throw speed. Like, he was able to throw a lot of bombs very rapidly. I wonder if that's... I wonder if you can, like, up your, like, action speed with the little speed-ups, because I know the speed-ups increases your movement speed. Oh, what do I... Yeah, here we go. But I wonder if that also increases, like, your throw speed or and your punch speed. If it just makes you fast overall. Almost to level 2 with the... Uh... Yeah, with experience. Oh, it says we're still level... Oh, I get it. We're still rank 1. That's why we didn't... That's why we didn't level, like, get any new stuff. So, yeah, we leveled up, but the but our rank stayed the same. Yeah, 
yeah, with Star Meme, yeah, either the presence of more power-ups or there's, like, more star players who know their shit. So it's like, if you go to a star arena, then, then yeah, then you're, there's going to be more pressure. That would kind of make sense. Should I mix it up and, and go, with, go for someone else? I mean, Vic's been doing relatively well. I just, I never use this power-up. And I would worry that... That I would... In, in the instances when I would use it, I would probably use it improperly. He, he can't go through walls, and he probably can't escape explosions with it either, so it's like... A quick get out of dodge button, but... Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know how far t it carries you, so I could see me trying to get out of a bad spot and throwing me into a into an explosion or something and into another bad spot let's see if i can get a single dubs get it that'd be kind of nice we got up to third place one time a few rounds ago and that was pretty cool no scope yeah yeah just like do one of these like bop 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 and then hit the speed yeah some somehow do a 360 no scope with the WSD buttons oh so oh yeah yeah just like in the illustration just like Arctic's incredible illustration with Gartic phone or yeah Gartic phone as that was something to behold one of my many favorite drawings throughout the course of that of that entire stream there were there were several drawings that were there were winners in my book. Oh, whoops, wrong button. So I have kick, but I don't have punch yet. So you can do that to like really quickly grab power-ups from other people, I guess. That's one place where it can be nifty. Oh, that would have been good. Oh no, I stood in the thing. What was I just saying earlier about, about not keeping my bearings very well when I, when I use the special power. Oh, yeah, and of course the bombs stop after certain points. So let's see, we're top, top left, kind of, sort of. Um, I guess I'll be over here. Yeah, I think the star blocks mean those are the ones that give rewards. I like that Pink's name is Da Bomb. Ah, uh, almost. I don't know why I'm going so- I was gonna say, uh, uh, we're going aggressive against pink. I'm not quite sure why, but I think I just- I want to kill. Uh -oh, after I got got myself earlier. Oh, I kicked it out. Yeah, I, I could've- if I, Well, actually, no, I, I had to have kicked it out because I didn't have punch. Oh, it just- it just throws you until you hit a wall. Okay, so it, does, it doesn't stop on its own. Oh, that's good. That's good and bad. Because, yeah, I could- I could absolutely see that being a problem for us. Will it go off in time? It did! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I feel a little bad for that one. We just, we got a quick kill on him. Probably because he couldn't punch or kick. Oh, and I can't use special powers in this time either. I guess we'll just chill down here. Pink, are we really going to do this? John, John Wilkes, more like John Wilkes. Boo, yeah, exactly. Looks like someone just died because a bunch of stuff just spilled over. I'm sorry, the Naruto run that Black Bomber has makes me so happy every time I see it. I, you, I know you want me to do this. Yeah, I guess I'll go and place it there, but I know what they're waiting for. I think Black Bomber's waiting for me to set myself. Whoa, set myself up. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure how big that one was. Oh, we got the uh, the big dude. What's his face? Oh, now he's dead. Um, yeah, uh, Pyramid Head. That's a, that's a guy's name. That's what they call him. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. We are here. I guess I'll take a spot over on this side then. The arenas are slowly dwind dwindling down. Oh, now we're gonna be like out here. Oh, see, now, now we're old screwed. Now we're all dead. I mean, I'm still alive. And I get the heart right there, so I guess it's okay, but yeah. That person just wanted to watch the world burn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was close. Oh, oh, I saw the one up top. Yep. I saw it too late. So yeah, everybody's got max firepower. Not everybody, but a lot of people have max firepower. And I have the opposite of the maximum. So I don't know where the other guy is. Oh, he died. No, he's not dead. He just got... He lost a heart. When he goes invinci invincible, invisible, it's scary because it's like, I've, I mean, I think they become uncloaked when they place a bomb. Or just over time, obviously. Yeah, people with big bombs and big inner, big fire. Big bomb energy. Ooh, that would have been fancy if you would have stopped that better. There. Alright, so this, one, this one's getting dicey. I don't have good- I don't have good confidence. We have three- two or three people in this arena that really know their shit really well. And there's a total of two arenas left, including this one. Oh god, I'm in a- I'm in a pretty vulnerable spot. I shouldn't stand there. Do I have- I only have kick. I don't have punch or throw. Throw would be pretty helpful. Throw is more for aggression and less for defense. I'm actually really lucky he didn't target me because he very well could have. Oh god. Oh, that guy's- Oh, he didn't die! What a- what a gamer. Best of eight, or we're in the best eight. Top eight, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, there's heart! Yes! We're back in it to win it. Or at least means I have a- I have a lifeline now, so I can be a little bit irresponsible. Oh god, everyone's so fast and so high-powered. We have pretty good speed, but we don't have a lot of ever good anything else. Did anybody spare a glove or a punching glove, a punch like a throwing glove or a punch a boxing glove or something? It's not so much to ask, is it? All right, so it's all this one over here. This one's for all the marbles, and it's eight of us all in one, all crammed into one. Oh god, the other cards are just pirouetting. What's this guy doing? He's like, is he like t posing? No, but he's being weird. It's either a glitch or it's like a- oh god, I'm dead. Oh! Okay, I'm not dead. I'm not dead dead, but I'm in a not good shape. Okay, now I'm dead dead. Yeah, that's how it goes. We made a top eight though, I'll take it. So level three and rank three. So we got something, right? We got something for, for our hard-earned efforts, right? Got a reward. So now, oh, we get the picnic outfit. So I can be a picnic, picnic Vic. Do I want to be picnic Vic? I kind of do. I kind of want to be picnic Vic. So customization. Or I could be this guy. Randomly slows down the bomb counters of surrounding characters. The bomb count. Oh, so I guess it makes them like it's a delayed explosion. Oh, but no punching, man. The no punching is rough. Now, Alucard gets no punching either, but he can just use his special power to go through stuff. So he doesn't necessarily need the punching, because he has other ways to go around. Look at this. This is casual Vic Viper. Does he have other stuff, or is that... Uh, yeah, I think that's the only thing we got. I want to get the popcorn bomb. I think you need, like, the fancy stuff, though. Player settings. Is that the stuff we were looking at earlier? Oh, it helps if I press the right button. Oh, okay. Different icons, which I don't think we have any new ones. Yeah. Season 1 bronze. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, yeah, we don't have anything new. Some th yeah, it kind of does try to start. Yeah, I don't know what Vic Viper is from. I, I, It must be an old NES game or something. There's a VGM cover band that I follow called Vic Viper that does, like, rock and metal 
covers of video game musics. Um, but, but yeah, presumably they got their name from something else. Jet Jaguar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the good alliteration. Like, single syllable first name alliteration. Last name sounds good. Vic Viper. It's a video game. Okay. It is a shmup, from what I can tell. Oh, no, no. It is... Oh, it's like F-Zero and Wipeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay. So it's like a racing game. Oh, it's an unreleased coin-op racing video game from Konami. Unreleased, interesting. There's something else here. There's, there's also an entry for it in the Gradius wiki. It's the name of the protagonist spaceship in the Gradius series. Oh, interesting. So there was gonna be like a spin-off, but it's also the, prota the protagonist in Gradius. Okay, so it was, but it was also going to be a racing game. Oh, interesting. Wonder why it didn't get released. Because the world could always use more F Zero and Wipeout inspired games. Yeah, I wonder what the story is. And it was originally Konami. This isn't one of those like, like Bomberman was originally under Hudson, which went under in the early 2000s. Oh God, Splendor Lot's intro was the best. He's got like a little business outfit and he's got a little box on his head. And that's cute. Oh, and he's the sleepy bomber. Yeah, I like the sleepy bomber. That guy, that guy's, that guy's cool. And he's got little star bombs. Man, this guy's like dripped out on the cool shit, man. Oh, I could, I could have used it. Could used it to get the kick, but I don't know if it would have been worth. I like the like the dark explosions. Very very edgy, very edge lordy. We were talking earlier about Act Zero. It's pretty fitting. Well, that person actually that person killed themselves. I I had nothing to do with that one. I wanted to kill them. You know. Yes, that's a moment when the 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 Vic boost comes in handy. Danger. So we are... Oh, we gotta go this way. The fuck out of Dodge. Have a good night, Jim. Thanks for joining in, man. Thank you for the assistance earlier with the RimWorld, because I know you, you were you were providing some helpful helpful uh, info, and I'll be... Like I said, I got more stuff to do on my own. Multiple people died. All right, no, I think it was just the one. Just the one death. Oh, but I want the stuffs. We all want the stuffs, but none of us... Can reach it yet? Oh, that person just exploded. What the boxing glove? Yeah. Oh, that person just got got. You'd love to see it. Am I the champion of this world? No, I'm not. He still has one life left. Oh, he's out. Excellent. I have this all to myself. Arena dominated. Now I I have to. Oh, and I get rewarded. Nice. I get rewarded with things that I'm having a hard time reaching. So that's a lot of power. So yeah, your your hands will be rewarded for your efforts. He can clear out his own. I have seven seconds though. Yeah. I don't really love the bouncy friends. I think I would prefer the. Um, there we go. I think I'd prefer the the spiky bombs, even though the spiky bombs would 100% lead to my downfall. So there's 30. There's 29 other people, and somehow I'm out here by myself. Don't tell me no one's gonna figure this out. Arena dominated. <laughs> this just feels cheap, man. I don't deserve this. Two arena dominations in a row. I mean, I, I guess it lets me get max boosted, but I don't know if that really gets me much because I think I already have max stats already. Oh, I just gave myself bouncy bombs after not being a huge bouncy bomb fan. Now, surely someone's going to figure out that I'm out here by myself, all by my lonesome. Like, I, this won't last forever. Someone's gonna figure out my... My... This ruse. So if I would have been White Bomber, then I could have given myself, like, big max stats. 
So again, that, that is one downside of being this lad. Yeah, there's really, I mean, I think you do get more experience as you pick up things, but it doesn't really do a whole lot on its own. Alright, so oh, this one is ending, so I gotta I gotta boot. I gotta boogie on out of there. Oh, really red? Come on. We're all just we're just vibing out of here, man. There we go. That'd be getting all up in my business. Oh, I don't want to stand there. That's where explosions will happen. Yeah, those bouncy bombs are just full of chaos and bullshit. And it's fun, but it's also, like, awful. So you can just, like, spam them, I guess, if nothing else. Oh, there's Louie! Nice! I've never even seen Louie. In, like, a game. Oh, he's so fast! We knocked Louie off of him, but now I feel bad. Now I, f I feel like a Louie killing monster. Oop. I was trying to like smack it off, but I could do no such thing. Oh, I was trying to. <laughs> I keep forgetting what the. Oh, I have to get it up here. I keep forgetting what the button is for. Or the input is for throwing. Not throwing the match, but throwing a bomb. Okay, so, no, I, I appreciate that, Goblin. I appreciate that, bud. I know, it's getting late. Oh, almost. You almost got me there. This spiky boy is trying to get me good. Someone just got got. Is it really just me and this blue guy again? Oh, he got me. We got, us. We got each other, actually. That is a thing that happens a lot when those like really quick plays are made is that it it, it frequently ends in everybody dying. So I think I got a heart. As as did Blue Friend over here. I'm trying to I keep trying to do the throws, but I keep goobering the inputs up. Top four! Alright, time to get back to this one over here. Top four once again. Let's see if we can get better than last time. Do I want to win? I mean, that'd be nice, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna have, like, that high of aspirations. Also, my, my ping is slightly high. I'm at, like, a, I'm at 100 milliseconds. It's higher than I would rather it be. Hey, welcome back, JD. Yeah, we're doing some Barman. Yeah, RimWorld. I'm gonna have to do some digging offline because... Oh, I'm dead. Um, I'm gonna have to do some digging offline because, yeah, we we're having some issues with some of the mods, and um, the game is in a not good state for my for my save, unfortunately. So we're having to might have to look for some other things to do in the meantime. Uh oh, I'm dead. Oh, not okay, not yet. This is a scary place to be, especially this this spiky boy. Oh, are we all dead? Yeah. Okay, I've just I've doomed a few people, I think. The area, I got an achievement called Area Hog. Because, yeah, there was a point in time where I was just chilling, getting all the power-ups. Yeah, Vic Viper's cool. He, the limited stats, or, like, uh, not limited stats, limited um, power-ups becomes a bit of an issue in late game. But he's really fun in early game. Got a lot of experience that time, too. And then after so much time, actually, I'm kind of curious what happens in the late game. So it says, hurry up. Oh, it drops the spikes. Yeah, that, the, the Ikaru guy, actually, I guess both of them, both of these guys were, like, really good earlier, so I'm not surprised that it's down to these two, because these both know what they're doing, yep. Not done yet, though, because they, they're about, they're both down to the last lives. Oh, God, someone's gonna die. Yep, there it is. Yeah, two, like, really good players, clearly. So I got something. A suspicious character, a, a, a su I'm sorry, a sus, suspicious character. So that, it, what exactly is that? Is that a, that's not actually a character. It's like a, is it like a, like a phrase, like a catchphrase or something? It's a profile panel. 
So it's you, it's literally like a like a catchphrase for your character. Yeah, I like explosions are art. That's more more uh, more classy, I think. So that's our second game tonight where we've gotten in the top four. And but we couldn't quite crack the top three though. You always end up with people that you end up with a few people that know what they're doing. I need a game full of assholes like me that don't know garbage about what they're doing. And we're all just waving our dicks in traffic and just being a bunch of idiots. Like I I need people that are fellow goobers. That way I don't just get suplexed by level 69 million pro gamers. It's true, I am sus. I, I'm I'm the imposter. You thought I was Alex this whole time. Turns out I'm the pseudo Alex. I've made this joke before how you know in Star Trek, whenever there's the evil twin, you have they'll have like a goatee or something like that. Like the, the like the 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 evil version, like alternate universe version of this character. Maybe what we could say is that somewhere I'm gonna switch back over to Plane Bomber for a bit. I'm already. Uh, maybe somewhere out there there is a a version of me that is exactly visually exactly like exactly exactly like me in every way except he doesn't have hair right here like he doesn't have hair right here and his mustache is, is gone so it's like he has everything except for the goatee but he has the sideburns still and everything else so it's like there's like this husk of a beard and he's like really nice and he's like i mean i like to think i'm pretty nice but like he's even like disgustingly nice like he's like this dude's like level 99 generousness and uh, so I'm the evil twin and there's like a nice Alex out there somewhere got an MS paint challenge I'll do that after this round ends Arctic if you're down with that I'll be curious to see what this is gonna be I think what we might do is maybe end the stream a little bit early that way I could give me a chance to do some digging around to see about this whole rim world situation because man I I'm still really worried that RimWorld might just not be streamable for another couple, another month or two as these mods all get updated. Or I could just go with no mods for a while, but yeah, just unfortunate timing. I need to find a way to try to resolve the issues we were having because they will come up again. He's too nice. Get him out of here. It's like, he's like, he's fake nice. I don't know who this fake Alex is, but I already, I already hate him. He sounds like a nerd. Let's give him a swirly. Oh, I don't have the special power anymore. Oh. Looks like it was a low-hanging fruit. None of us wanted to go for it. Ooh, uh oh, oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead, but I did screw myself over just now. When I when I said that I wouldn't, actually that's not true. I said that it would happen. I try my darndest not to let it happen, but it will happen more often. Um, just, just the, uh, well, neither, just the, cause, cause 1.3 isn't out yet, is it? I know it got announced, but I, I was under the impression that the client update hasn't actually happened yet. Although I know that there is, there is a beta that allows you to get the, the 1.3 a little bit early, especially for modders. So I know that's out there. But I, yeah, I haven't, I haven't signed up for that. I'm just in the, in the, uh, the plain stuffs, the, the release stuffs. Yeah, yeah, so I haven't gotten the beta branch yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I misread. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were... Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying, Puzzle. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I'm not on the beta yet. Yeah, because mod, mod uh, makers are already rolling out updates. The problem that I was having is that there was one mod, and maybe there's more of them, but there was one mod that updated in such a way that it gave the mod an updated ID, and that throws my game save off because it's looking for the older version of the mod. And it sees that there's a newer version, which is which it's fine with, but a lot of times if you have an existing save and you remove a mod, it will it will kill the save, like it'll it'll break it. So I don't know of a way if there's a way to like go into the files like XML details and and manually re-add in what it's missing. But the tricky thing is that we tried it just with the current mod list with like a new save and we were having existing issues where the game wasn't really working correctly. There were certain parts of the UI that weren't working. So I, what I need to do is I need to poke around and see if there's a specific mod that's giving us problems because it seems kind of suspicious. Not in the beta. Yeah, I, and I don't think you would necessarily want to be in the beta unless you were a mod maker. Oh, right. There's... I forgot they added the, the bean from Fall Guys. Um... 
yeah, I think the I think the mod the beta branch is really more for mod makers, um, or I guess enthusiasts. But I think the impre my impression is that that's going to be updating quite a lot. So you probably wouldn't necessarily want to be in the beta branch. That guy just killed himself. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, well, I was hoping I could snipe his ass. So my firepower is pitiful. Oh, I just walked into my own bomb. Shocking. Shocking that I would walk into my own bomb. Oh, very good, Grutalfi. Can I ask what games you're playing tonight, dude? And if you've had a chance to try out this, this new Bomberman game? It's pretty good. Uh, it's old school Bomberman, for better or for worse. I, I'm, again, I, I'm very biased and then I like the... Um, should we try out the bean? I guess we could. Dives a little further. We gotta stick with our boy Vic Viper, man. Vic Viper's where our best games were at. Because, yeah, this one's pretty good, but again, I, I'm a fanboy for the the 90s Bomberman heyday. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Arctic. The menacing bean. You have one that closed down on you? Yeah. It's pretty good, JD. Yeah, I, I like it. It's the kind of game I, I don't think I would do much more than, like, playing every once in a blue moon. But it's, it's a good one to whet to my whistle. Yeah, no, to be honest, Gritalfi, I, had, I hadn't even heard that it was available on Steam until, like, a week ago. And it come to find it's been available for like four weeks by now, so it just kind of popped up on Steam very quietly. Tabletop Sim and Dead by Daylight, nice, yeah, yeah. Do you think you might ever stream Dead by Daylight, Great Toffee? I, I, there's several people that I'm that I follow that have been going real big into Dead by Daylight lately, so I get the impression it's got like a pretty significant crowd, like a pretty big audience, uh, like a really dedicated community to that game. Dude, that's how I feel, JD. Yeah, Mario 35 will always be number one in my heart. Sea of Thieves? I That's one of those games where I really like watching other people play it. But I don't know if it's my kind of game to play, necessarily. But yeah, watching other people play is fun, though. That's that's a cool game. Like, even if it's not my cup of tea, I can at least appreciate it for what it is. Also, I can't believe that guy fell for it. It's the oldest trick in the book. Oh, I was hoping to get him no, one more time, actually. That would have been too mean, though. Oh, that's a bomb. <laughs> I forgot. Those, the popcorn looks like a power-up, but no, it's it's bombs. Bombs? They're yours. If you have the rupees or something. I, have, I, I haven't seen any good shit posts on Morshu in a minute, so I can't remember. The I can't remember the clips. Not a ton of power-ups. Got a few, though. Do I want to stay here? Sure, I'll stay here. Gotta play a bit more, yeah. Yeah, that, that last stream at 35 was really something special. Okay, uh, sounds good, Arctic. Thank you for joining in, and thank you again for a very truly delightful and life-affirming MS Paint challenge. That's very good, my friend. But have a good night, dude. I imagine the um, R R the RLS stuff is, is a pain to deal with, so... My heart goes out to you, buddy. I know it, that shit sucks. Also, somehow, everybody else is dead, except for this one person and myself. So, everybody got bodied pretty quickly there. We still don't have punch. Oh, I didn't mean to use my boost. Prematurely. I prematurely boosted myself. Sounds like a personal problem. This person seems... And I don't want this to sound... I mean, they seem like their connection is a little bit slow. When I say they, say they seem slow, I don't mean they seem... Like, they're as a person, they seem slow. I mean, as a player... It seems like their reaction time is a little bit delayed, so I wonder if they've got some high ping. Because my ping is actually a lot better this time around. Last time I was near 100. Your years of bar main versus? Or just, yeah, like, just like playing multiplayer, yeah. Yeah, because there's some strats I know and some things I know to avoid, but oh jeez. Oh jeez. Well, death. Death of thy name is flower bombs. Is it really just me and this one guy? Everybody else left? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this dude clearly knows what he's doing. Oh, well, I was going to say, we've doomed both of us. Oh, did that just kill both of us? Yeah, that killed both of us. I didn't realize he only had one life left. That dude out here really just wanted to get... Oh, no, no. He... Okay, so... Because there, there were two hearts that dropped. Oh, I think I know what the issue was. Two hearts dropped because one came from a brick. So yeah, he lost a life, but he didn't die. 
was just saying, I, I didn't think he had one life left. I thought he had at least one, one additional one. Pack 99. Yeah, pack 99 is cool. Oh god, headbanging. Uh, is that a taunt? What is that? <laughs> I guess it's a taunt. I don't know. I don't, I don't really see myself ever using the taunts. Kick performance. Yeah, very cool. And the clown. Oh, that's cool. I mean, that is not an inaccurate way to describe me. Yeah, pack 99 is good, but yeah, it's not for me. It's I mean, I guess I'm biased because I never really played much Pac-Man back in the day. I never played much Pac-Man and I never played much Tetris. So Pac-99 and Tetris 99 are good and I like them, but I it's just, it's just not the same for me. It's an entry pose. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll do the kick entry pose. And then victory pose, that's the, the clown one. Yeah, I'll be the clown. So it's a taunt. What's what's that? What's he? Oh, I guess he's like saying hi, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have the headbanging one. I don't even know if I know how to taunt. So I don't know if that's how useful it's going to be for me. Farm man knockoff with monkeys. Interesting. Now my my uh, old school Bomberman experience was limited to Atomic Bomberman, which I never played much of, but played a little bit of, as well as um, Bomberman Generations. There was a really cool multiplayer mode that was just you know, the classic grid style stuff, and I played it with friends quite a bit. There was a survival mode in that one that I liked a lot, where it was you couldn't put bombs down yourself. All you could do was try to survive the bombs that fell from the sky and it got real fucking nutty like you know so many minutes in um that one gets real silly and it's it's pretty fun so i like that one a lot so, but that's pretty much it yeah i never played any of the nes or snes games and i have yet to to do so actually obviously bomberman 64 second attack had some grid style gameplay but not a ton um and i know of course, Super Bomberman R, not this one, but the, the single player game, has uh, like a story mode, like a campaign mode. And that one has uh, grid style gameplay, but with some bosses and some like level progression. Uh, communication error, that's no good. We try again. I'm still live, right? Yes, I'm still live, so it's not my internet, I don't think. In the bottom, it says canceling search. I'm just going to assume that that means it would cancel the search if I were to click the cancel button. Yeah, there's private matches. Yeah, which I I, yeah, I've, I've actually, I have not even looked at. I'm guessing you would like generate like a lobby code and send that to your friends or something. Now, what's switch challenge? Uh, no, don't do that. Here, yes, so stop searching. Yeah, yeah, cancel the search. Switch challenge. Huh. So if I didn't want to... Oh, here we go. So we would say... So what's the challenge? Yeah. While writing Louis. Yeah, I've never actually even gotten Louis yet. Destroy 100 blocks. You got it. I wish I would have done that sooner because, yeah, getting 100 blocks, that's easy peasy. Oh, it says cancel. Oh, right. That's because, yeah, this would cancel the search if I were to say stop searching. That's what it means. He is, but I've never seen how you get him. I've seen other people get him. I'm guessing he's a power-up. But yeah, he seems pretty rare. I think he makes you real fast, and I think he's considered an extra life too. Because if he, if you get hit by a bomb, Louis goes away, but you stay there. Like you, you get knocked off of him, but you stay put. So he seems like a really good power up. Assuming that's what he is—that he's a power up. <clears throat> I'll probably be wrapping up kind of soon. Like I said, I, I do want to give myself some time tonight. I'm not gonna like spend, you know, stay up super, super late, but I do want to spend a little bit of time tonight looking around online to see if there are some things we could try for our the RimWorld tech issues we were having. Um, it'd be nice if it, it would be. The, there's a few um, conclusions or a few scenarios that we could arrive at. The best scenario would be if there was a way to rescue our the save we had previously worked on on Friday. If there was a way to resuscitate that one and keep that one going um but i'd also be willing to accept like you know some other way to resolve the issues we were seeing 
for like subsequent games, like you know, after after a certain point. So I'm gonna dig around a little bit to see what's going on there. But but yeah, it's like that that could take some time. And also it's getting late anyway. We're at about four hours up time, which is pretty good. Usually what I what I want to shoot for. All things considered. We'll, we'll do another round of this, round or two of this. Depending on how late this one goes. But yeah, like I said, I do like this game. I probably won't stream it all that often, but as an every once in a while thing, especially like as a as like a filler, like a fill-in kind of thing, it does its job quite nicely. <clears throat> now I'm guessing, because yeah, we see the power glove. I'm guessing there's no way to like power up your bombs. Like you could in Bomberman 64 as well as second attack, where if you held the bomb in your hand long enough, it would like inflate. I'm guessing that's not an option in this game. I think throwing is throwing the bombs is just for lobbing them over distances rapidly. Try this game with friends. Yeah, I, I could see like private matches being pretty fun. Very nice. Although that's not gonna kill him, it'll, it'll just remove one of his one of his hearts. Oh, what an unfortunate place to spawn. Oh man, he had no control over that. That's that's just. I feel a little mean about that one. Honestly, I didn't know that was he was gonna spawn there, and I don't know if there would have been a way to have known that. I'm surprised the game didn't give him iframes. I feel like they probably should have, to be perfectly honest. Okay, I kind of, kind of sniped that from them. I'll at least get the bomb. Oh, no, they won't. Okay. Guess I'll get the bomb then. I feel like I'd be bad. No, same, honestly. I, I am bad at the game. <laughs> I mean, you, you see the gameplay that I'm throwing out here. Uh, I, I have a little bit of experience with, like, the grid stop armor, man, but not a ton. So, yeah, I, I'm frequently finding myself outclassed by other players. But, I, like I said, if you if you play long enough, eventually you'll get matched with players that are equally inexperienced, relatively speaking. Or, you'll get matched with people that are as experienced, but they'll die, like, really early on. So, you'll have, you'll have opportunities to just luck out. And that's what Battle Royale is great for. If, if anything else, Battle Royale is not a perfect game mode, but what it is good for is sometimes just dead luck, dumb luck even, working very well in your favor. But sometimes that's all all you need, so we take those. I was secretly hoping that would kill everybody. Okay, not literally, only only killed one person, but took a few a few hearts. Well, I have the glove, right? I do. I can just do shit like that. Can I just hold hold it in my hand? I'm guessing it probably won't start the fuse until it leaves your hand. So it won't just blow up on its own. Alright, time to move. Let's go this way. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Do I want to go down one more? Yes, I do. It's not quite as spicy. Oh, these guys are trapped in the middle. Everybody's gonna die there. Okay, maybe not everybody. But... Oh, yes, that was really lucky. It didn't... It only killed one person. Oh, poor blue. Oh, he... Oh, it does give you iframes. Okay, so... I wonder what happened with green earlier. Maybe green, like, left the, the safe zone too early or something like that? Because it looked like green got screwed over by a lack of iframes when he probably should have gotten them. Yeah, like throwing bombs is a, is a nice way to apply pressure, but I don't know how to like do so in a way that is like guaranteed to get kills. That person is good at the bomb kicks. So if you can get a well placed bomb kick in the right way, you can really screw someone over. Time to go, uh, I guess up. Yeah, th that makes sense too. Like as you get as you play, you just get you learn the strats, you learn ways to to get good. So yeah, that makes sense. Quick kill. Oh, pink. Oh, never mind. She she managed to get out of it. <laughs> it was just bouncing back and forth. I'm really putting the pressure on pink when I really don't need to be. 
So say that's gonna kill somebody. We have really strong. Oh, because our spiky bombs always like hella strong, maybe. Because I don't have that high of firepower, but it's look, it's acting like I do. Okay, never. Mind. I think that was someone else's bombs. Because yeah, my firepower is five, which is not the bestest, not the worstest. But uh oh, uh oh, almost screwed myself. Is it really just? Oh, red's dead. Red Dead Redemption. Ooh, wow. I'm surprised that worked. Alright, so... Our options are... Right? Yeah, I'm gonna go right. Over this one. Oh shit, I wasn't even looking up there. Was that my own bomb? It might have been my own bomb, actually. I might have just goobered myself. So I got a hit on somebody, but then I got my own shit pooped on. Weird mental image. These people... I, I picked a not good place to be because these people know what they are doing. These these are some bomb, high bomber, high bomb roller people that know their shit. Rolling my shit if, they're, if I'm not careful here. So I gotta be pay I gotta pay very close attention. That things are popping off. No hearts. That, that bomb that bomb power up just cannot land. There it goes. I think people are taunting because I'm hearing lots of voices. Like little robot voices. What are we in? Top six right now, that's pretty good. If I can get top four, that'd be pretty cool. This is the final zone. They do, yeah, destructible blocks, yeah. I, I was wondering if they also got a stat boost, but I know that they, yeah, they penetrate breakable surfaces. So it just cleanses the zones. Someone got offed already, it's just kind of surprising. Getting off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm mature. Oh, there I go. Not dead yet, though, because I got a heart earlier. It's a little bit claustrophobic. There's a lot of peeps. And a lot of ex a lot of explodies. Uh oh. I'll see. There's no way to know like the explosion radiuses for these bombs being dropped. So all I know is there's bombs over there, and I don't know if they can reach me or not. So I just assume the worst. Oops. A lot of us are down to just one life, which is good. Oh, speak of the devil. I thought he dropped a heart, but I don't think that he did. Hurry up! Oh, this is my first time seeing the spikes, ever. That's exciting. It's down to me and this other dude. Uh-oh. And we both have one life left. Or, I'm sorry, two lives. Now, I'm guessing the spikies would get us real good. Like, would be an instant kill, that is. Whoa! So I've got one life left. One life left to live. Yeah, I'm being very passive here. Oh god. Oh, I'm dead. There we go. Yep, see you later. Second place, though. We'll take it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and suggest that that person really knows what they're doing. A suspicious character. I got a fancy outfit, which I think tells me that they probably either leveled up pretty high or they have the battle pass. They, they know their shit. And I have many shits to learn. GG's though, that was good. That was good, they, that person won fair and square and bombed my booty to Timbuktu. What do we get though? We got a, I guess a taunt maybe? It's not over one, oh yeah, it just cut off a little bit, yeah. So yeah, I guess those are taunts maybe? Oh, I think that explains the voices we were hearing. I think that was like a character specific taunt. Yeah, it was like the little speech bubbles. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so you could like quickly communicate, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll say it's not over yet. Yeah, we'll, I'm not sure why you would ever say thank you in Bomberman. When you're not, it's not really about cooperative shenanigans. You're more, it's more adversarial. 
All right, so I think it's where we're going to end for the night, friends. It is late. 